can I give a random shout out to Saber Two Stars for making the best of Steve 2020? On it was also a team YouTube. thing because he passed it on as well. Yeah, yeah, it he gave it to thing. I think uh, uh, Tony and uh, a couple other the dudes that were yeah, that they put made it together, happen. and it was a giant fucking compilation, the best of Steve 2020. Thank you guys. Before this video begins, I just want to say thank you to Steve and to everyone on the Ninja Squad as well as the old video games community for giving me and my partner. Marcy Mental with this opportunity to make this huge compilation and the overwhelming support that the video was given after it went up to the channel. If you guys have not watched the compilation yet, I will leave a link of the video on the description below or on the card box on the top right. And yes, Steve call me Stars, not Staz. I mean, it's easy to say my name, Staz, S-T-A-Z. You don't have to put an R on my name, but enough of that and let us begin the video. Hey what's up, the name is Sabertooth Staz. Hope you guys are doing well and safe as always and we did it, 300 subscribers. It feels like yesterday I made a video of reaching 200 subs, but now the channel has reached 300 subscribers. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Thanks to everyone who support my content or even stop up on my channel and enjoyed what videos I posted weekly. It really means a lot. So again, I will be doing another Q&A video for you guys. Now I ask everyone on Twitter and other social media platforms such as Discord and Facebook of what questions you guys have in store for me. So let's get started. Let's begin with Twitter. Retro ask, favorite arcade memories? Well, my favorite arcade memory would be that I was playing Tekken Tag 2 on the mall while waiting for my parents to get finished doing groceries. I was hogging the arcade camera for so long and someone challenged me and I accidentally picked Alyssa only to battle. But at the end, I won, but I did not expect to win by using Alyssa. So it was a good and funny memory to remember. Paulson asked, is there any fighting game you are or you want to be a pro at it? Also, which fighting game you want to get a remaster? Hmm, well, there's a lot of fighting games that I really want to be a pro at but it's obvious that the game that I want to be a pro is Tekken because my whole life I dedicated my time and effort to play and play this game to have fun and learn how characters function in the game and how my opponent will do and how to react on certain situations. And if I were to choose a fighting game to get a remastered, it would probably be Bloody Roar because that game had a potential to compete with other fighting games and the concept of the game that turns everyone into a beast is interesting. Tony asks, earliest memory that made you fell in love with Tekken and fighting games? Hashtag 300 subscribers stats, hashtag 3000 more subs, hashtag when's Uno, hashtag when Street Fighter X Mega Man, hashtag Cheeks. Wow, really? Shut up, Tony. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of hashtags, sir, so calm down. And to answer your question, my earliest memory that made me fall in love with Tekken and fighting games in general was technically not a good memory. Back when my cousin brought her PS1 and introduced me to Tekken 3, I had no idea of the game and my cousin just beat me every single time. Because of that, I played the game non-stop just to beat my cousin which I did at the end and made me realize Tekken opened my eyes to the whole fighting game genre and why it's fun. Who's your go-to tag team in Tekken? Well, it's obvious that I picked Mishimas on this game, like I main Jin, then sometimes Kazuya, then Devil Jin, although I'm not a pro using them. It's important for me to learn what they can do when playing against an AI or doing casual matches with friends to help me, to expand my knowledge whenever I use them. So in summary, I'm a filthy Mishima main. <laughs> now that Twitter questions have been answered, let's move on to Facebook and... It's not even a question, but okay, okay, okay. Here's my take on what if I become a VTuber and VTubers in general. I am interested of becoming a VTuber in order to have a face for my audience and to get to know what my personality is based on my character but by canvassing how VTubers are, they are crazy expensive to make. If you want your character to look great, like you have to illustrate what your character to look like and I'm not good at drawing but I wouldn't mind commissioning people to illustrate my character but it depends. 
Same applies to rigging the character. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, it takes a lot of CPU power to make this work, right? And seeing my laptop is a potato, I don't think being a VTuber will happen anytime soon with the limited resources that I have right now as well as finances is concerned too, but maybe, just maybe in the future it could happen. Now that the Facebook question is out of the way, let's move on to Discord. Anonymous Prime said, since you're a huge Tekken fan, do you plan on doing any more Tekken videos on your channel? Hmm. The answer to that is yes. I will never stop putting out Tekken content on my channel. But as much as I love to play more Tekken, not all Tekken games I can play such as Tekken 4, Tekken Tech Tournament 2, and Tekken 7 Online because of my hardware limitations. My laptop really can't handle the latest games and considering that my laptop is 4 years old, I really want an upgrade so I can put more content for my channel and not just Tekken but more fighting games to expand the variety of content that I can provide to everyone. And the last question or questions are, what fighting game do you feel like you're the best at and why? And what is something you like to do aside from YouTube gaming that nobody knows about? I wouldn't say the best at certain fighting game but to be skilled per se. I'd say again Tekken but I will also include Soul Calibur because those are my two stable fighting games that I know that I'm good at that I want to excel even more and how fun it is to play with other people. And something that I like to do besides the norm is probably making vector art and to learn more about video editing because at times that I'm busy doing the usual stuff, I never get to do what my passion wants me to do. I want to acquire it and make it a part of my life and be more comfortable about it. Just how I love making content on YouTube and providing everyone the content that they want. And that's all the questions I've gathered for now. I really enjoy doing another Q&A video for you guys and as always, I really am thankful to everyone who subscribed to this channel. Although these videos are showcasing gameplay in general and not my face and my voice all the time, I put a lot of effort of making these videos from playing the game, adding quick edits, skits as well as putting good thumbnail for the video. I want to share to everyone that these videos are something that I'm very proud of doing. And to close this video, I have something to announce to you guys that I really want to address. A few days ago before this video was created, my company no longer renewed my contract. Six months has passed since I work at my company. They decided not to continue my employment. I am now unemployed and to be honest, it was unexpected and quick how it happened. But that's life. You win some, you lose some. And after my office mates knew about the situation, they quickly comfort me and give me hope and success for my future. As of this moment, I have no job but I am resting to replenish my energy and start looking for another job. While looking for a new job, I want to do at least something to help my family and to have an extra cash in case of emergency. Seeing that I'm not eligible for the partnership program of YouTube yet, I want to try and make my videos profit. By doing so, I decided to put up a Streamlabs donation link. I'm not forcing you guys to donate but I appreciate all the support if you do. Every donation counts. I'll be putting the donation link in the description below and if it's alright with you to support me on this journey while I look for a new job. Not to mention I also stream now on Twitch so you can catch me doing live streams to provide you guys more content that you deserve outside of YouTube. Again, thank you everyone for 300 subscribers. It may be a small number but for me, I am grateful for 300 people to watch and enjoy my videos every day. The overwhelming support that you guys give to me is amazing and I can't thank you enough. So here's another 300 more subs in the future. But until then, my name is Sabertooth Staz and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care guys.